another, sure. another strange matchup for us, though. Yeah, this is a, a, a weird matchup. I believe Armada says this is like really bad for Yoshi. I think Asa thinks it's really bad for Yoshi too. Huh. Um, I mean, what, what necessarily? What do you think makes it bad? I mean, I think turn ups, turn -ups. the way that Peach can space and her down smash are all really good tools. Flow cancel aerials, like how do you punish that as Yoshi? Like, and you can't jump out of shield, like yeah. That, that's yeah, that's a good point. I'm not sure what you can get off of like a parry even. Like if Peach, if Peach has like a good flow cancel fair against a parry, like can you even get the punish on the time? And some turnups, if not all, will probably snipe Yoshi's double jump. If you can aim that right. Yeah, you you like wait out the double jump and then snipe him with like yeah. an up throw turn up or something. Just push him oh, back enough where stitch? air dodge can't. Oh, oh no, no, that wasn't a stitch. Nope, no stitch. <laughs> Looks like it. Not yet. Ooh. Peach down smash is brutal. Yeah, like what do you do against that? Is <laughs> you try and bury Peach's down smash. I and mean, even if you shield it, like the thing is, you're not gonna get shield poke though, which is nice. Yeah, you're not gonna get shield poke, but if you ever seen Yoshi's shield after a good down yeah. smash, I had imagine it's not great. It changes color to red real fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was gonna say like you can't really do much afterwards. You can maybe jump there or just roll, but roll even Peach is gonna be able to cover a Yoshi roll. Like it's so slow. Yeah. Oh, wait out the up smash. Yeah, I'm not really sure how Yoshi, like, brings this back, <laughs> or, uh, like, gets the lead and keeps it, I guess, eggs. Um, Yoshi also doesn't kill off the top, so I feel like, especially on Dreamland, you Yoshi can down can smash do, um, and everything, but, like, he's just gonna come back. Yoshi's up air is not bad. True, true. But, other than that, I mean, he, he has up smash. <laughs> These eggs, oh. though. But getting a good hit, like a good smash attack in speech is hard. Especially because Yoshi's range is kind of bad. That's true. We go Marth F smash? Okay, oh, I nice you can get that pretty easy against Peach, but... That's, oh, that'll do it. Yeah, 140. 70% deficit? That doesn't seem too bad. Yoshi can live really high, like, as long yeah. as he doesn't get caught. His double jump caught early, but... We'll see, I mean, I don't think, know if these guys play often, but I don't really see how much experience Robbie has. Oh, yeah, I don't think... Oh, oh no, good, no jump. Yeah, he caught his double jump. I don't know if he expected the, uh, the fair there, but he did get the Nair. I think the Nair would have broken his double jump armor anyway, so it was just a good Probably. decision by Nair is, Nair is so unreasonably strong. Yeah. It's very good. He keeps floating and waiting for Whiskers to up smash, and then just punishing him for it. Wow, he knew that the fair was coming. I was I was not prepared for that fair to come down off the platform there, but really he was, he just neared it. <laughs> the eggs are definitely hold that shit. The eggs yeah. are definitely helping a lot, I feel, for Whiskers. Like he's able to just keep Peach away from him. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. I mean I Yoshi's eggs. Doing are stuff like this, you know, and then Peach is Yoshi's eggs, like that was like 10%, 11%? Yeah, I, I think on stale they do 12. Oof. It's just like it's damage. And Yoshi can like combo them sometimes. No, yeah. like, I don't know if it's a true combo, but it feels like it. Maybe not so much on floaties, but... There's definitely some nice lead there. See ya. I feel like people in general don't go out and hit Peach enough, but as Yoshi, you have a really good excuse. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, no, if Peach hits you once, you, you're, you're, yeah. you're out of your double jump or you something. Like, you like go out to like Nair or something, and she nairs you, you just don't have a double jump and you're off stage. Yes. Like that. Or that, yeah. And he still doesn't have a jump. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, you he can knew. make it, though. Yeah. Yoshi's drift seems pretty good. Yeah. Oh, double jump is officially... Ooh. Armor is broken with an air, but he doesn't Ooh. even need to break it like that. He just kills him off the recovery. Yep, kills him with an air. Oh, that's Ooh. damage. What was that? Flow cancel up air and down smash? Yeah, that's that's a 36% shot. Yeah. Fair. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that See. Was, that no, it won't. Okay. They're the same idea as me, where it's like, maybe you got to make it less obvious, like. You're like throwing eggs a lot, and then you mix it up with like a runoff, and it's an air or something. You don't jump there. 
mean, that down smash with that 180 is still being able to kill Peach. Like, Dreamland's nutty. That'll, 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 that'll do it. That'll do it. Yeah. That DI was kind of questionable, too. Aw. <laughs> uh, didn't notice the DI. I mean, at that point, the DI doesn't really matter. I guess so. And it's at 207 after the hit, yeah. See, the, the fair to up, uh, up tilt there, that might have led to something, but he didn't quite get it. I feel like Yoshi doesn't really have too many good tools to, like, poke Peach when Peach is floating above him. Like, he goes going for up tilt a little bit. He, he's missing up smashes, though, which I'd imagine Ryobi is looking out for. Yeah. But, like, without jumping, like, gra grounded options to, like, hit up, you know? Yoshi has trouble with that. Like, it, it's kind of the same thing with Ice Climbers, where it's like, if you're, like, above and, and just a little bit in front of Yoshi, there's not much he can do about it. Um, he doesn't have that many good options to deal with it. Yeah. I know Yoshi's up tilt is, like, not the greatest. Yeah, it's kind of small. And it has a lot of lag on it. There's a lot of floaties in uh, the yeah. top level here. We saw Hugs. That's true. Two Saint, Big Kid, Ralby. Uh, yeah. Who else? Yeah, Hugs. Whiskers, uh, Beastcraft. Uh, I don't know who else has I mean, Rish, Rishi's it. here. Oh, yeah, Rishi. Zealous. Yep. I mean, a lot of, a lot of Mark. Zealous might be playing Falco. I don't know. He played Falco against me. I don't know if that's okay. a thing he's doing. I have no idea. Uh, who else is here? I feel like top eight is all really solid, but past that, it's oh, like warmer. Eh. Apollo's here. Yeah, Apollo's here. Warmer. Hmm. Oof. This is kind of even. I mean, it's been a minute. It's just kind of been more of the same. Like I, I'm not seeing that many. Adaptations coming out. Ah. It's a, it should Still be a little throwing bit. eggs. Yeah, I mean, that's what makes. It. I can see why now. This is this is kind of rough. Like Peach floating at that height, you have to commit as Yoshi so hard just to hit her at that height. Uh, yeah, I mean, what do you do? Like double? You have to use your double jump. Yeah, you have to, to get up there. You have to double jump and or get a really lucky egg. Oof, that's a nice way to land. The one thing Yoshi has is that he's faster, but. That's true. But I feel like Ryobeat is just holding the center so well. Like, Whiskers is always either below a side plat or just off stage. Not even necessarily center all the time, but control. Like, yeah. he's always in a position where he can just drop down and Ooh, I think that's the first up smash of the set. Yeah. And I, I mean, it'll kill Peach. How did he get that? Was that. I wasn't really. Peach, uh, Ryobeat dropped out of his float. And I think just did an aerial or it didn't come out fast enough, and then he just caught the uh, descent with the up smash. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Omsa tech. Yeah. Wrong Omsa, oh, wow. but we'll take Ooh. it. I think Ryo Beat's really good at, like, um, he's, he's good at fast shielding things, I've noticed. Like, he knows how much time he has for stuff. Like, you pull the turn up, insta shield, he just shields the egg in time. Huh. Getting a lot more up smashes this game, this game. I imagine it's due a little bit to this being a smaller stage. That's true. Yeah, I don't know about the Dreamland like first pick. Like, what you ban like uh, Yoshi Story as Peach? Well, I guess. Yeah, you. Well, it depends on who wins RPS, of course. Oh yeah, I guess it does. One of those kind of weird matchups where it does actually matter a lot. Yeah, because I mean, I could see Whiskers would. Whiskers probably would have banned Dreamland first, right? Um, he might have banned FD. Huh. Or, yeah, I imagine he would ban FD. Yoshi's like really bad on FD since there's no platforms. Right, right. Ooh. Okay. Very even. Yeah, surprisingly even. Um, it Definitely felt like looking better than last game for Whiskers. Oh, yeah. I think he's a little bit more patient, like choosing his spots better. Huh. Even though Rebeat's not like giving him that much, he's just like not getting hit as much. Oh, strong punish. Oh, if he'd gotten that reverse back air into something strong. The eggs are still working. I mean, they just control good airspace, you know, where if he can just put them where he thinks Peach is going to be, Peach has to move around them. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. like right there. Yeah, just, it's just like I know you're going to double jump. I'll egg you and I'll up air you. This is more kind of how Amsa plays, I think. Huh. Like, in, in just in general and in, in floating matchups, he, he likes to go for the eggs and then get like good percent and then uh, do something strong once. He's at like over 100. Right. Yeah, so I guess floaties at least when he doesn't have a, a strong punish game or as strong. Yeah. Like against Hungerbox, you'll see him do it. Yeah, I mean, he, de he definitely made good use of eggs against Hbox. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, no up smash this time. The platform movement. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's not bad in any way. Like, as long as you're not platform moving, like, right into Peach's zone, yeah. it's probably not bad. It, it might serve to, like, kind of oh, wow. trick them out. There. Like, right there? I feel like that was mostly due to the platform movement. It's tricky. Yeah, yeah, you can't really see where Yoshi's going to end up. If he's going to keep wave landing, if he's going to drop down with something. Yeah, that's his Or speed. that, he just, like, falls back and eggs. I mean, uh, Ruby's got the lead. I mean, at this point, if you're getting, like... I mean, Whiskers isn't really camping, but if you're getting camped, at this point, you look at the timer, you say, oh, three minutes? Yeah, I can camp that. I can counter camp that. Robbie also hasn't pulled a turnip in a while. So, yeah, if they're going to start walling each other more, I think Robbie's just going to make liberal use of some turnips. There's one. Compared to the hug set, I feel like he's got no special turnips. He got the, yeah. what is it, dot eyes? He definitely hasn't been pulling as many, though. Uh, I mean, with, with Yoshi true. throwing eggs, you don't really have time to sit down and pull a turnip. If he had broken his double jump armor the other way, that might have went differently. I mean, even after all that talk, we we praised Whiskers a lot about how he was choosing his spots while he's still down. He is still down, yeah. <laughs> By a solid, like, 50%. I feel like once I, I recontextualize, like, what's actually happening in the match, I'm like, wait, this guy's losing now? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's definitely a lot closer than game one, so... Good yeah, shit to Whiskers. This is like a last hit situation right here. Yeah, definitely. Yoshi could easily just bring out a down smash. And yeah, down smash. Maybe like a, a badly eyed up air. Like a yep. badly eyed nair. Or land an up smash or something. Yeah, nair would be great. Up. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Y Yoshi's kind of heavy. Yep. Not too yeah, heavy. It certainly is. I mean, at least compared to like the rest of the cast. I think the only really heavier character is Samus. Or maybe Falcon. But still, like... Yeah, Bowser. That, that'll do it. Wow, okay. Oh man. I'm gonna turn my sound down a little bit. There we go. Um, game three, where do you even go? Pokemon? FOD, okay. Maybe this is just a comfort pick for uh AOD. Yep. I'm here nice high up. ceiling. Thinking well, uh, maybe not Pokemon because you don't have to top for earlier as Peach than you do for Yoshi, and right. it, it's like a mini-ish FD, but the platforms for Yoshi can still lend him some use. I feel like those are a good height where Yoshi can just really just come down with the nair and it'd be impossible to react to. Yeah, when you think of like Yoshi movement, it's not always the top platform, like he can just do like double jump, edge cancels and stuff on the side platforms. Yep. Ooh, Roby doesn't matter. I mean, that's still percent, though. It is that's, percent, that's yeah. That's 3 percent. You know, how, how much does back air do? Like, 13 or 14? Oh, yeah, it's pretty strong. Oh, that's, that's, that's good show pressure. Oh, that's like the one of the first times I've seen him get hit by that uh, double jump armor, like, double jump armor or reverse it. Oh. Now, what I want to see in this game is... Down B kill. Word. Bring hat. And then he goes off the top. Yeah, we saw a, a teeny down B there, but not offensively used. Ooh. Ooh, these turnips are really calling out his position. Yeah, uh, it's like you like hit two eggs. turnips, it's 10%, but yeah. I mean, you take what you can get. Oh, that's it. Okay. Any percent that you can get to break Yoshi's double jump armor is really important. Definitely. Once you have him past the double jump armor percent, you can just pull him so much harder. Yeah. Movement limited recovery just becomes a lot worse. Oh yeah. Like past, as long as you have a good move that can break double jump armor, like a Marth, 
a, like a Nair or something, or like an F-Smash, it becomes way easier to edge guard someone like you. I imagine Peach Dare is great at that. Yeah. Okay. The multi-hit and whatnot. Yeah. Maybe I just don't understand how the double jump armor works. It's it's based off of um, knockback, so it, it'll oh, okay. reduce the knockback of any move uh, up until the point that it breaks. I up to, I forget how much knockback, but uh, so in that case, something like Nair is probably better from Peach. Yeah, just fast, um, fast, good knockback. I don't really know how Ooh. Dare interacts. Yeah, me neither. So I always just thought good. that like multi hits are. Oh no! Yeah. I always just thought multi hits were really good against the the armor, but I'm not sure. Yeah, he isn't really going for it. I feel like. He, wow, he, he either so knows even. something we don't. I'm sure they do. <laughs> or he doesn't know and he doesn't want to risk like testing it out. Huh. It's probably he knows though. Maybe yeah. it's pretty knowledgeable about the game. Well, this was very even, but Ryobi has not gotten hit yet, so I'm just stuck. He's just punching away the turn. Uh, the eggs. That uh, that's a stitch. Oh. Yep, and he catches it. Ooh, to go for, okay. oh, yeah. Still has not gotten hit the stock. Full, Let's full go, stock Ryobi. lead with a stitch. Oh, he kind of just... What? Uh, I don't know. I think it was close to the end of its life. Yeah. The stitch. It, it, had, it went off. It had traveled it's, quite a bit. It's a little bit dangerous. Just get rid of it. Like, yeah. you're, you're a full stock ahead. This is true. And then some. Oh, cool. man. Wow. Yeah, Ryobi's really doing... Oh, that's, oh my god. Yeah, yeah that's it. Damn. Good games.